The things that are preventing people from being successful at cold calling are usually psychological. People don't like to get cold calls, so they've decided that they don't want to make them. Everyone likes to do business differently, so you can't ignore any of the channels. But calling seems to be the one that people get hung up on the most. What's the difference between sending somebody you've never talked to an email and calling them? Usually just nerves or the feeling that you're bothering someone or just your own personal bias against it. You have to get rid of that. Using telemarketing in addition to other channels will be wildly more effective for you. People think that they're calling when they're not. Right? People are like, how, how long did you spend calling today? Oh, like six hours. No, you spent two hours calling, you spent four hours screwing around on LinkedIn. The amount of research that you're doing in between calls is what's damaging your effectiveness when it comes to cold calling. A hundred calls takes someone at my company eight hours. So it's a full day just of dialing. If I let everybody do 10 minutes of research in between every call they make, I'm losing days of productivity and hundreds of meetings a year. I like to encourage people to consider not doing a lot of research before they pick up the phone and make that call. Five minutes with somebody on the phone will tell you who you need to talk to, are they the decision maker or not. You can spend 20 minutes researching somebody who isn't actually the decision maker. Maybe their title is right, but they have nothing to do with that. So you wanna identify in that initial call who actually makes that decision.